How are you doing today? Good, and you, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, so... Uh, Great. Got this, got this big fight coming up uh, with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and you're making your, 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 your third boxing fight. Can you tell us a little bit about how this fight came about? Wow, I'm very exciting, you know? And uh, I'm in the same car for Camacho and Julio Cesar Chavez. And I go fight with the sun. I'm, I'm impressed, you know, I'm so lucky. I, I pray every day and say, thank you, God, for the opportunity, you know, and I'm very exciting. Now, you have said in the past that your uh, MMA career is over. Does this mean that you're going to turn the box full time? Wow, well, you know, everything is possible right now because I don't need to prove nothing for anybody. And maybe after this fight, I fight jiu-jitsu, gi, no gi, or I fight box again, of course. Or Muay Thai, I'm just uh, talk to my, my Muay Thai coach, Jason Park. We go to Thailand, and then when everything is open, and uh, that's my dream. I say, oh, I need you go to Thailand, coach. I need you go to Thailand, and maybe it's possible I fight in Thailand. And my coach say, why? Because, you know, that's completely the part of my life. Imagine I go to Thailand and fight Muay Thai in Thailand. It's, it's special for me. And uh, my coach said, yeah, let's go do it. Just finish your work and check it out. Everything's come after that, and let's do it. Now, Dana White's been very vocal about uh, some of the former UFC fighters fighting in boxing. Has he said anything to you? Listen, everybody asks me about UFC, about Dana. I have my personal opinion about Dana, but professional, I can't say nothing about Dana because the people talking a lot, oh, you make more money in boxing, in the fight shows, uh, entertaining shows, and because UFC don't pay you. Of course, UFC pay a lot. I don't have problem for that because every single time when I, Dana come to talk to me and my team, Ed Suarez and George Guimarães, is putting the contract in the table and I check and uh, my team check and back and going back, going back and, oh, this is good for you, Anderson? Yes, this is good for UFC? Yes, let's do it. You know, I can't say nothing about that. And uh, when, I, when you, you sign something with UFC, you need to check it out, your contract. Why you sign? Why you sign, you know? And you can't say nothing bad about Dana. Of course, Dana is, is, Dana, is Dana, you know? And uh, I, I have my personal uh, opinion about Dana. Uh, sometimes I have a difficult relationship with, because I have, I have my mind, I, you know, I'm not a baby, you know, I'm, I have my life, I have my, my mind and my personal opinion. And that's why sometimes something happened, you know, but uh, Dana is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a businessman, you know, and um, let me tell you something. I know you know that, I know everybody watching this know that, but the life is one thing in your professional life, in your fight life. Doesn't matter your professional job. It's number. You make numbers, you're good. You don't make numbers, you're out. That's the life, you know? Dana is a businessman, and the people need you to understand that. And the fighters, the new generation need to understand that. Because every single moment when I go, when I come inside UFC, I just, Think about my business. I represent my, my company. I'm the company. And come on, I, I, let's go work together. Yes, that's the job. But it's the two companies, my company and UFC. And you, you, you come putting something good for you. You know, that don't happen to the new generation and for the fighters. And that's the fighters start to talk bad about UFC. I don't, ha I, don't, I don't have nothing bad for talking about UFC. We, we don't have anything bad to say about the UFC. You 
don't see either. The question really that I guess I want to get to is, you have been try you had tried to fight Roy Jones for a while. Like, oh, yeah, fight. yeah, a long time ago, you know. Uh, Listen, that's, that's the good question because in the moment when I say, whoa, I open my mind, this has happened today. I talked to Dana and Lorenzo for many, many years ago, you know, and this has happened right now. And I say, you know, give the chance for fight boxing with Hoy Jones. I start to promote this situation because in the moment, Hoy Jones is a huge and I'm huge in, in MMA. And I say, why? don't come doing the crossover and put them the good good names to fight, you know? And uh, this is happening right now, you know? So tell us a little bit about this fight coming up. You're fighting with Julio Sierra Chavez Jr. How do you see this fight unfolding? Wow. Um, the people call me and uh, I'm on vacation in Brazil with my family, visit my parents and uh, I finished my training and I back to inside my home and uh, people call me and say, Anderson, you have, you're interesting to fight boxing? I say, yeah, when? Uh, in Mexico and with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. I say, wow, yes, I'm, I'm in, I'm in. And I call my coach and I start training, you know, I'm, I'm I never stop training, you know, uh, and I accept the challenge, and I, I'm here. I'm very happy. Now, my question is, um, why a national fight? Why did you not lean towards an exhibition like what it seems everybody else is doing? Mm, yeah, because I'm a fighter. I'm real fighter, you know, and uh, maybe when I'm very old, I can't do exhibition, but right now, for prove my respect for boxing community and uh, for the legends and for the people make the box successful, I need to do something good, you know? And uh, a lot of people say, oh, you, you crazy, you make the wrong decision, but not, I, I'm, I'm prepared for that, and that's I I prefer to do it to re show my respect for the boxing uh, community and uh, for every single person fight in this sport and make this sport huge. Now, the last couple performances of Chavez Jr. hasn't exactly been so great. Do you think that psychologically you have an advantage over him? Well, a lot of people talking about the other people and uh, judge the other people, you know? But you can't say nothing when you don't go inside the ring and doing the same job that people do it, you know? And uh, it's the same I can talking about the doctor to make your job better. And the people can say nothing about Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. because he's a fighter, you know? And every single person have your personal problems. And that's not, not give power for anybody judge, you know. Anderson, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Enjoy your day. God bless you. Hey, Chris, you're up. All right, uh, Anderson, how are you today? Appreciate it. We're, uh, Good. Good.